Our video for today is female robot humanoids that are really talking and walking. Before we get to the video, I have a few questions for you. How many human-like robots with male faces do you remember, and how many robots with female faces do you remember? If you were ever to bring a robot to do chores in your house, which type would be your choice? Ah, there is a reason for these questions. Since our topic is female robots, we wanted to share some information about them before we get to the list. It's always good to know more, right? Have you noticed that when it comes to AI robots, they mainly take a female appearance. Just take mobile assistants like Siri, Bixby, Cortana, even Google Maps voiceover, all female. There is a psychological reason behind this. In common, humans find a female voice is perceived as warmer and gentle than a male voice and more comfortable to communicate with. Now, let's start with our list. Creating a lifelike robot that imitates human expressions and body language is not easy. There was hype around the world in past few years for robots that imitate humans. Many countries and scientists started joining the trend, but there were only a few that succeeded and gained attention. In our list first, we have Jane Lai Lai. Well, you guessed it right. She is a robot from China. What's special about her is that she wowed the audience as a TV show host with an actual presenter. She is an AI-powered robot presenter with the appearance of silverish bob-cut hair and realistic silicon skin for her face. Her body, on the other hand, remained exposed to mechanical parts. This gained a huge amount of audience nationwide. You can see how expressive she is explaining the new technology and innovation in China. She may talk about heavy subjects such as 3D printing technology, facial recognition technology, and big data, but according to her character introduction, Zhang Leilai is an 18-year-old who loves to sing, read comic books, and apparently eat snacks. You can't help to notice her small winks, natural lip movements, and gestures, and soothing voice when she presents. Lai Lai is the second generation of robots developed by the FX Robots Company. You may not be familiar with Lai Lai, but you must know Jaya Jaya, the very first humanoid robot in China. She was unveiled in 2016 and was developed by a team of engineers at the University of Science and Technology of China. Her skin textures are extremely smooth and she had brownish, long hair. She was able to answer the questions about weather, have a basic conversation, and identify the gender of the people who interact with her. The team who designed her had spent three years designing her. The reason why Jaya Jaya can make very remarkable micro-expressions is that the way her eyes glance around naturally according to the conversation and her lip movements as well. According to the team, AI robots like Jaya Jaya will begin performing a range of menial tasks in Chinese restaurants, hospitals, nursing homes, households, etc. Jaya Jaya is the first robot in China, but the first working humanoid AI artist in the world is AI Da. She is the first ever robot artist that could draw without any human command or input. She was developed at the University of Leeds and made for the gallery at Oxford owned by Aiden Meller. AI Da uses the microchip in her eye and pencil in her hand. She can draw and paint from her sight. Amazing, right? She has a robo-thespian body. This means she can enact a range of movements, speak and respond to questions. Her skin is also made from silicon. Teeth and gums are 3D printed and have integrated eye cameras. She should meet Jeff Koons. Maybe she could stop him from creating more balloon animals and motivate him to draw. Being a 48, does she look a bit like Oprah Winfrey to you too? But it is revealed that Bina is modeled on Martine Rothblatt's wife. It has taken more than 100 hours of compiling her memories, feelings, and beliefs, and Bina is owned by Terra's a movement. Bina stands for breakthrough intelligence via neural AI and is said to be a sentient robot. Means a robot that can see, hear, and engage in conversation. They have plans for her to exceed the processing speed and memory capacity of a human brain. Next up on the list, we have Erica, one of the most beautiful and intelligent androids that work. She is a result of a collaborative effort between Osaka University, the University of Kyoto, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International. 
According to the reports, the leading professor Hiroshi Ishiguro had used sample images of 30 beautiful women to create these amazing facial expressions for Erika. Not only Erika can respond to questions, but she also has the ability to understand and show strikingly similar facial expressions to humans. Till now, we talked about very human-like and pretty female robots. Even cute too. Let's change the mood a bit, shall we? Japan did create beautiful Erika. Then they created Alter, known to the world as the creepiest robot so far. Japanese Science Museum showcased Alter in July 2016. She can detect proximity, temperature, and humidity, and can sing with movements. But those movements are not human-like at all. The reason is that Alter is entirely built on embedded neural networks. The target was to let it control its movements. So, it will follow motions, but would not try to make it similar to human movements or gestures. It makes Alter look like a creepy malfunctioning robot when it is not. I would rather stay in a haunted house alone than in a house with Alter. Imagine hearing her voice each time you get near. No thanks. Coming up Mark 1. No, not Tony Stark's suit Mark 1, it's Black Widow's Mark 1. With the help of 3D printing, this female robot was modeled after Scarlett Johansson. Mark 1 has liquid eyes and can show detailed facial expressions such as raising eyebrows in surprise and even winking when spoken to. Unlike other robots, Mark 1's mechanical and electrical interior is covered with silicon making her more and more human-like. Ricky Ma, the creator took about one and a half years to complete her and more than $50,000. More surprisingly, she wasn't built in a lab but on his home balcony. Have you heard about Asuna? Characteristically, Asuna is a 15-year-old, 155 centimeters tall hyperreal android. Asuna was showcased at the Winter 2015 Wonder Festival at the Makuhari Mess Convention. She had looked so realistic that even a reporter mistook her for a new idol of a Japanese girl group. Her movements and natural mannerism have tricked many people that day. Nadine is another lifelike robot known as a social robot. Nadine was modeled after Professor Nadia Magnanet Thalman, replicating her hair, facial features, and realistic hands as well. It is socially intelligent. If you greet her, she would return your greeting. Nadine can speak several languages as well. Her responses would change according to the detail of the person she interacts with. This affects the stimulated emotions as well as gestures. Nadine even worked as a customer service agent at AIA Insurance Company for a while. Last but not the least, Sophia. When it comes to talking female robots, you can't forget Sophia might as well as be the most popular one in the world. Sophia was developed in 2016 by the Hong Kong-based Tansen Robotics. She even received citizenship of a country, and she was the first ever non-human to receive any United Nations title. Sophia uses artificial intelligence, visual data processing, and facial recognition, and also has its own Twitter handle. Sophia is modeled after Audrey Hepburn. Do you know how the scientists plan to have robots at nursing houses to take care of the special needed or the elderly? Well, you can picture it with robots like Sophia. The main reason to design Sophia or her main tasks will be to become a suitable companion for the elderly or to help to handle crowds at large events or parks. She has had many interviews and in one, she introduces herself as a social robot who travels the world to learn about people and reduce the fear or mistrust that people have towards robots. In some ways, I'm like a science fiction character depicting where AI and robotics are heading. The first is the assumption the AI conversation is about robots. It's not. Artificial intelligence is affecting many different aspects of life. Most of us are interacting with AI every day without even realizing it, says Sophia, and that is true. Take Siri, Google Voice Recognition, Cortana, and even Grammarly. These are all sorts of AI in different levels and different forms. Do we have to worry about robots looking similar to humans more and more? 60 years to the future, maybe yes. Near future, definitely no. Despite the facial expressions, their body language is still at basic levels. If you spot a fully clothed active robot on the road or in a cafe, you will easily spot the difference. You know what they say, it's normal to fear the unknown. But in the end, 
Robots are developed by human intelligence and controlled by their human inventors. So, subscribe and stay with us for more interesting facts and videos.